Good day everyone. Today our topic in physical science quarter three week three is all about general types of intermolecular forces and their effects on the properties of substances. But first let me introduce myself first. I am Iris Jane Emperado and first what is intermolecular forces of attraction? Intermolecular forces of attraction. These are the attractive forces between molecules. Intermolecular forces hold molecules together which can be attractive or impulsive. They are generally weaker than covalent bands. They are accountable for the properties of substances. Moreover, intermolecular forces also explain why substances exist, substances exist as solids liquids or gases at room temperature so that is intermolecular forces of attraction so let's go in uh, types of interaction so the type of interaction is a uh, dispersion um, for attracting particles all molecules especially nonpolar molecules and for the dipole dipole are interacting particles of polar molecules and for the ion dipole the ions and the polar molecules and for the ion ion this is the ion um, cations of onions and for hydrogen bond NO of or F bonded with hydrogen atom so that is the four types of intermolecular forces of attraction for interaction involving covalent molecules the first three types are known as a van diaper walls forces, which is the dipole dipole, ion dipole, and the diperson forces. Also, the hydrogen bonding. What is dipole dipole forces? Dipole dipole forces are all attractive forces existing, existing between polar molecules, molecules that are exhibit dipole moment such as high HCI these forces arise due to interaction between oppositely charged ends of the polar molecules the greater of the dipole moment of molecules the greater is the forces of enter attraction rather dipole dipole interaction result when two dipolar molecules interact with each other through space when this occurs partially negative portion portion of one of the polar molecules is attracted to the particular positive por portion of the second polar molecules and for the ion dipole forces ion dipole forces exist in the act inter attraction between a charged particles called ion which can be a positive charge particle called cation or negative charge called anion anion or anion the polar molecule is exhibited by the hydration of the interaction of water molecules which collions are and onions are ionic compounds dissolved in water when NACI is dissolved in water H2O or NCI will be dissolved into sodium cations. The chlorine onions because and the chlorine iron because water is a polar molecules and has partial negative and partial positive poles. The the sodium cations will be formed into ion dipole interaction with partial negative part of the water molecule while the chlorine chlorine uh, anions will be formed to ion dipole interaction with the partial positive part of the water molecules and let's go for the dispersion forces of or london forces are the weakest attractive forces that are formed due to the temporary dip dipoles and to induced in a nonpolar molecules this force is also called induced dipole induced dipole attraction 
Take for the example, if there are an ion or the polar molecules here in an atom or non-polar molecules, there will be a distortion in the electron clouds of the atoms and non-polar molecules due to the forces exerted by the ion or polar molecules. So let's go for the hydrogen bond. Is hydrogen bond is a special type of dipole dipole interaction between the hydrogen atom and the polar molecules and a highly and electronegative atoms and O or N N N O and F is the other molecules. The water molecules is a very good example of substance that exhibit hydrogen bonding. So the properties depend dependent on IFA IMFA are the praise of room temperature. So when molecules have a strong intermolecular forces of attraction, they are packed close together. They are often exist on the condensed phase solid or liquid at the room temperature when the molecules have weak intermolecular forces of attraction they are far apart from each other they are often exist as gas at the room temperature and for the solubility solubility refers to the ability of substance to dissolve in a given amount of solvent at a specified temperature recall to the to the rule like dissolve like dissolves like when the sol solute or the solvent both exhibit in the same intermolecular forces of attraction they are from solution for the melting point melting point is a temperature of which the substance changes from solid to liquid stronger intermolecular forces mean greater amount of energy is needed to break the attractive forces between molecules substance with stronger imfa have higher melting points compared to those with weaker imfa and a boiling point boiling point is a temperature of which the substance is charged from liquid to gas similar to melting point Stronger intermolecular forces from mean greater amount of energy is needed to break the forces between molecules. Substance with stronger IMFA have a higher boiling point composed to those weaker IMFA. Uh, for substance tension, is the tendency of fluid of acquire the least possible surface area molecules with a stronger intermolecular forces will exert greater cohesive forces with acquire less substance area a higher forces tension than those or with a worker imfa and for the vis visco for the viscosity is a measured fluid resistance of to flow Molecules with a stronger, higher, a stronger intermolecular forces have a greater resistance to flow, and thus the higher vis viscosity compared to those a weaker IFA. And for the vapor pressure, vapor pressure is a pressure exerted by the vapor is a calcium with its liquid base in the closed system molecules with a stronger intermolecular forces have less tendency to escape as gas and thus lower vapor pressure compared to those with weaker imfa for the strength of internal forces when comparing the strength of intermolecular forces, check the difference in molecular weight. If the dis difference is too large, then, then the greater the molecule with a greater 
molecular weight has a stronger intermolecular forces otherwise you will use a following strategy so the first strategy is check which molecule exhibits hydrogen bonding this molecule will be have a stronger intermolecular forces and for two check with a molecular molecule in a polar polar molecules have stronger intermolecular forces and for the third long compared to london their friction forces more massive molecules have stronger intermolecular forces so that's it that is our lesson for today goodbye and learn happy learn